is all the different types of Julius Caesar cycles, right? They're all the same. No, no, no. Such a cycle is actually different, no? From other cycles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here come the plane takes. Hello, friends. I don't think we need any formal introduction about ourselves, although there's one person missing, and that is the man behind the camera. Today, we are going to be dealing with substitution ciphers. Now, I know you have studied about ciphers in your previous class. What is substitution ciphers? It is one of the classical methods of cryptography. So, basically, there are different types of substitution ciphers, but we will be dealing with only three types. Now, what is a substitution cipher? A substitution cipher is a method of encoding a plain text into a cipher text. Now, what we are going to be dealing with is sub simple substitution, polygraphic substitution, and polyalphabetic substitution. So, me and my friends along will be teaching you. Please stay tuned. Caesar ciphers. I'll be briefing you all about the Caesar ciphers. As you can see, the plain text. Plain text is, kind of, is an alphabetical order from A to Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G to Z. And the key value is equal to 3. The key value may be any number 3, 4, 5, 6. It depends on the uh, sender and the receiver. The key value shared between the sender and the receiver for them to encrypt and decrypt. Fine. As we have chosen the key value as 3, we'll encrypt the first alphabet A. So A is encrypted in such a way that A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. So 3 alphabets are moved in front and A, A is encrypted as D. So A is equal to D, B is equal to E, C is equal to F. It goes on the same way till C as Z. So Z is represented as C. For example, I'll take as Christ College has the word which I need to encrypt. So the encryption follows like this. I'll take the first alphabet C and encry encrypt in such a way. So key value is equal to 3. So we choose that 1, 2, 3. So C is represented as F in an encrypted form. C is equal to F and H is one. Uh, H is moved in front 3. 1, 2, 3. H is represented as K. And it goes on to the whole text and the encrypted text is found here. The decryption, decryption follows the same procedure where F is taken and move back three, three alphabets. So F, one, two, three. So C becomes the uh, decrypted text. As you apply the uh, decryption on the whole encrypted text, you get the same text back and, you, and the uh, uh, Caesar cipher is done. done. Atbash cipher. Now we all know there are 26 alphabets. Now they split into two parts. The first 13 alphabets are written on the top and the other 13 are written at the bottom. Now to convert it into a cipher text, the sender and receiver will have the same format. Now let us take an example, Christ College. Now the C, the corresponding value is X, as you can see that. And now for H, it is S. Now the same is repeated for all the other alphabets and it's converted into a cipher text. Now if the receiver has to convert it back, decrypt the, in, uh, decrypt the particular sentence, he has to look back into this table and convert it. And that is all about at bash cipher. Okay, uh, so I will deal with the plain uh, fair ciphers. Okay, uh, so you basically be, uh, we have a, find, a, a 5 cross 5 uh, matrix or grid. This 5 cross 5 uh, matrix contains uh, alphabets from A to Z. Uh, in 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 the form of rows and columns, here as you can see, uh, like we have five to five matrix uh, matrix, but we have yeah uh, like a, a, a one bit change that is i and j. As you can see, i can be used as j, or j can be used as i, depending on the plain text. Okay, a second thing we have uh, when we have a space uh, in the plain text, like here we have for example Christ College uh, D E E. So if we have two spaces. So we'll count the space as x, and uh, yeah, fine. So coming to uh, 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 when you, when we are uh, so the plain text is taken in pairs of twos. So we have c h as one pair, r i x t. So now we have a space between Christ and college. So we'll count the space as x. So we'll take space as x and the next uh, word that is c. So that is that becomes x c as one pair of plain text. And same way, in the same way between college and D E E, we have a space. So we'll count uh, X and D as one pair. And uh, like now, uh, here there's one rule: when we have two words to come together, like we have E and E coming together, we can't have them because they'll form in they lie in the same space. Yeah. So uh, whenever we have a uh, two words coming together, we'll take an X between them. So uh, D E will have an X between them. So this becomes uh, E X and 
e x because the last space is empty so we'll count the space as x also so so here we have two pairs in the form of e x and e x okay uh, now coming to uh, 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 the to, to convert the plain text to the code uh, the, the cipher text so for example the first one c and h so we see a c and h coming in the same column when we have uh, words coming in the same column uh, we will uh, we will uh, will come one step down so c becomes h and h becomes n so uh, c becomes h and h becomes n okay uh, for next exa for the next plain text we have ri so we have r and we have i so this forms a matrix of 3 into 3 so uh, so, so when uh, when uh, when when taking the plain text to the code uh, we'll take the last word from the matrix so r will take the place so the t will take the place for r same way uh, t uh, r will take the place for t and uh, and similarly for i g for i g same way for all the words now uh, uh, the space thing when you have x and c so we have x here and c here now here also x and c uh, are in the same uh, same column so we'll come one step down so c becomes h c, uh, uh, c becomes h now when we see x x has your uh, x x is the last element here so we'll come down when you come down that becomes c c is the first element here so this forms a uh, like top down approach fine so x and c so x becomes uh, one step down that is c and c comes one step down that is h same way for all the elements uh, in the same uh, in, in similar way for e and x we have e and x here so when you compare in, in the matrix we have e here and x here this forms a matrix of okay this forms a matrix of 3 into 5 this is e this is x so we'll take uh, uh, in place of x we'll take the we'll take the last element that is z so e will take the place of z and similarly of uh, for e c fine okay now this is uh, the part of uh, of taking uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, having the uh, the code from plain text to the code when you want to uh, get the main uh, plain text back we'll do the same uh, in the same uh, fashion we'll do it again so we have h and n here h and n like uh, in the first case we came uh, one step down we'll uh, like and when we come to get okay okay so uh, when we want to get the uh, the plain text back we'll uh, we'll come one step uh, one step upwards so h and n will come one step up upwards so h uh, h will become c and n will become and n will become h so we get the plain text back this is ch this is ch similarly for uh, for the next pairs uh, when you have space for x and c the the uh, cipher text is c and h so uh, c and h this is uh, c we have c here and h here we'll come one step back um, yeah one step back so c becomes one step back we'll go upwards uh, we'll can go upwards that is x so we get x here and h will go one step upwards that becomes c so uh, now we have here again ri of an st xc and same way for the rest yes and what else Hi guys, uh, I think so you guys are pretty much clear about all different types of ciphers explained by uh, Dennis and Nikit and Alec. Now I will be talking about uh, polyalphabetic ciphers. And uh, in polyalphabetic, one of the most important uh, ciphers which is used is uh, autokey ciphers. Now in autokey ciphers, it's actually pretty much uh, difficult uh, than uh, other than uh, other uh, ciphers. In uh, autokey ciphers, we make use of tabular recta. That is basically a 26 cross 26 matrix consisting of uh, alphabets A to Z. Now, in uh, autokey ciphers, 
we'll be uh, taking the plain text and converting it into cipher text by using the tabulator. I'll be explain, uh, explaining about this later. Again, back to the sky. 